Hey, good evening. Well, I guess you can say good night because it is after 8 o'clock. <clears throat> but excuse me for being late. I was actually doing a ritual for someone. I actually had this guy who has a, a bad spirit in his house. And I was there helping him, or actually doing the ritual, for him to get the spirit out of his house. So that is why I am late. Um, you know, once again, I was just out uh, at, at this guy's house. <clears throat> he had this evil or bad spirit in his house. I said, I can get it. Oh, hey. Yes, come in. Oh, Lord, how are you doing? Hey. Oh, uh, my goodness. Hello. How are you? Good evening, good evening. Oh, Lord, I'm old, but I ain't dead. I'm going to get down here with you. Mm. Oh, you're, you're live. Good evening, children. This is your sister, Pearly May Black. And I got an issue. I got a crisis. You mind if I talk to you about this crisis? That's, that's, that's perfectly fine. Well, first of uh, all, I get into that, yeah. I got some food from the building fund. You know, God is good all the time. Oh. And he provides. So I got you fish. Uh -huh. As Jesus did in the Bible, he had to fish and five loaves of bread. That's all he needed. Oh. So I brought that for you. You, you know what? Put it on over to no, the no, side. No, you, you know what? Thank you. I really appreciate this. But, you know, in my position, I really cannot eat. From anyone. Okay, well, yeah. you missing out on some pork neck bones, beans and rice, oh, collard greens, and, and I got my potato salad in there. Oh, that sounds good. But I put relish in mine. I'm like, some of them mothers <laughs> at the church. But anyway, children, the devil been busy. And I know we just finished prayer service, and I had to come over here see what this man was talking about because. These women in the church, ain't nobody showing up to Bible study no more, children. See, the devil is busy out here. And can't nobody tell me where they went. And they said, go to this man's house. So I'm here to talk to you about the word of God. <laughs> so you're talking to me about what? The word of God. Because these women in the church, they saying, they finding they man, and they getting married, messing with you in these rituals. And sister and Minifee, and y'all know I love sister and Minifee, I called her for prayer, she didn't pick up the phone. And you say, why sister? Because she laid up with some man named Cletus. And where you find the Cletus? She done did this ritual with this man. What is these rituals you talking about? Because all we need is this. Jesus, you married Jesus. Oh, you, you married Jesus? Yes, we don't need no men. Oh, okay, that's nice. You, you know uh, there's a lot of other women married to Jesus also. You know about that one, huh? What you mean by that? Because see, this word of God, the sex, it is temptation. And it's evil. So all you need is this word of God. Mr. Whatever he talking yes. about. And sister and men, if he didn't pick up the phone. Because that is my prayer warrior. And she out here on some Tom and join a cruise. With some man, she done did a ritual, and now she ain't picking up her phone. They out there hooking, they shouting, and they talking about they dancing. They on some Tom John the cruise. All you need to do is to get on the ship of Jesus. You ever heard of that ship? One thing real quick. What's your name again now? Sister Pearly May Black. Okay, Sister Pearly May Black. I'm, I'm going to ask you to just dial it down just, just a couple of notches for me. I'm sorry, but I'm yeah. passionate about the word of Jesus Christ. Right, you know that you actually turned him into a polygamist, right? What you mean a polygamist? Polygamist. You know, you know if you married to Ooh, him. Oh Lord, what you mean a polygamist? <laughs> you know, if you married to him, right? Mm-hmm. And, and and Sister Menfield married to him. Hallelujah, I'm married to you, Jesus. You, you know you done made him into a polygamist, you get that? What you mean? Because he married to me and all that ain't right. what I mean. See, that's slick. I see what you did there, son. I see what you did there. See, children, when they try to trip you up with the word, you stand on this word of God. Because that's all you need. And these women, they not picking up their phone. We looking for them at Bible study, and we can't even find them because they didn't found some men talking about they didn't did a love ritual. Now you can't find them. They ain't nowhere to be found. Well, the only thing I did was I actually had a conversation with their ancestors and... Um, their ancestors actually kind of directed me in well, like, what kind of man they need, so I gave them a ritual to do to actually find a man. It's, it only involves like, only, all you need is four eggs. That's all you need. I don't need no eggs. Four all eggs. I need is this word of God. And four if y'all hear eggs. fertilized eggs. eggs, you hear this? This is, this is witchcraft. And what is this stuff you got in this flow here? You talking about eggs? I can be with your son. You seem like a nice young man. 
But as long as you ain't killing no chickens and into some of that stuff, you don't kill no chickens, do you? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Lord, I got to get out of here. These people is crazy. I don't even think I want to leave my plate of food here with you. <laughs> you kill chickens while you're kidding, son? <laughs> no. Oh, Lord, let's get out of here. All you need is the word. The word. Leave this stuff. Some of African spiritual systems. And all you need is to just pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. How do I get out of here, Lord? Oh, Lord. Get out of here. <laughs> oh man, uh, Miss Sister Sister Manny, Sister Black, whatever her name is, was she something else? Anyway, before we were just so rudely interrupted by um, Sister Black, uh, as I was saying, I actually uh, I was late tonight. I was supposed to come on about eight o'clock or something like that, but I was actually in the middle of performing a ritual. Uh, for this guy and his wife and his family, they actually have a bad spirit. Some people may say evil spirit. Some people may say demon. I don't really care what name you give it. Um, but uh, whatever name you give it is still unfavorable. So I always like to call them unfavorable spirits because they actually don't really mean you any any good. So he actually had a house full of them. The interesting thing is where his house was built was actually um, on an old plantation. Is where it was built. And so, um, oh man, I lost my train of thought. So yeah, but anyway, um, it was built on an old plantation. And so there were actually some, some bad spirits around there, around where they So I just went out there tonight and actually, um, I guess you say exercise the, the demons or whatever you want to call it, but that really wasn't it. Just did perform the ritual to actually run those particular spirits away. And that was it. So that's all I did tonight. Uh, so that's why I was late. But anyway, um, you know, we can have a, a quick conversation about that a little bit, or we can actually talk about... Oh, matter of fact, let's talk about the class that we have coming up. So there's a class coming up on next Monday. That'll be an ancestral class. It'll be over two sessions. So it'll be a two-day class. Starts next week. I'm going to drop the link uh, tonight. And um, actually, right after we finish this session, I'm going to drop the link tonight so you all can get registered for that class. Like I said, it will start on next Monday. Um, I think I have, the time I have down is 7 p.m., sometime around in there. And so I like to keep the class for maybe an hour and a half or so. Sometimes it goes over. If it goes over, I'm usually I'm pretty fine with that. Uh, if there's still enough interest in you all still want to hear me talk about whatever I'm talking about. So we have that class, and then the way it's going to work is I'm going to give you an assignment to do over like a five-day period or something like that. It's a really simple, really basic assignment to really start to get you connected uh, to your ancestors so you can actually know what it feels like when your ancestors drop down. Some of you, you know, actually may may know but not quite know what that is you're experiencing and some people have absolutely no clue because they feel nothing. And so the exercise I'm going to give you will actually help you to begin the process of identifying your ancestors. And when I give you the assignment, you, this is an assignment that you can do not only for like the, I think five days or whatever. I'm going to give it to you. You can actually do this assignment all the time, period, until you get totally used to your ancestors being around you. And so um, that's what we're going to do next week. And then actually the week after that, yeah, the week after that, I'm actually going to have my elder come in, and uh, who is Chief Bonjiba. He actually has skinned me as a chief. What? Hey, what's going all right. on? Yo. I just ran into the craziest church lady. Oh my goodness, is it just church lady month right now? Like, yeah, absolutely. It's crazy church ladies crawling all over the place, but mm -hmm. all right. Look, guys, I'm so glad we're here. And for those of you that are joining us that are in the class, we're gonna go right into class. So we're gonna break here as mm -hmm. usual, and we're gonna continue the rest of this in class. So if you are in the Ancestral Way class, please join us in a few minutes. So I hope you guys enjoyed everything and we'll see you soon. Okay.